And welcome back. This is Bonus Good with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm joined, as always, by Fei Hong Wong. When you last left off, we were resuming the game after speaking with the existence. The thing that is God incarnate in our plane. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? What is it? Dad! Oh, we don't know what to call it yet, do we? Dad, are you okay? I'm sorry. This is all my fault. F Faye, you've returned to your own self. You've become one. Yes, thanks to you all. If all of you hadn't called out to me. Dad! Don't worry. This is good. This is, after all, I... Dad. You and... You and I must become one. G Grof? What's going on? <laughs> I reached the limit of the body I possessed on that day three years ago. I required a body that would tide me over until your true awakening. That's why I acquired the body of your father. Regardless of your awakening, your merging, and the inherited memories you had acquired, there was no way for you to know of this. Since you had lost your memory at that point, at the point in which I merged with your father. Impossible! What about wise men? What about father? Of course, they were just parts of me. I couldn't hold on to Khan totally. His ego was far stronger than I imagined. When my control weakened, he showed himself to you as wise man. You have awakened. This body is now useless to me. Now I must return to my original body. The reincarnation of my body that you inhabit. S stop it, Dad. I hear you, Faye. You see, he and I are one. I am Khan. Khan is me. He has become one with me, so you two should open your heart and unite with me. Then we can go on to eliminate everything. No, I can't. Allow you to control me! Oh shit. Faye is pissed. <laughs> Protecting your master? Then so be it. I'll merge with both you and your machine then. Now come, Faye, fight me! It's no use. I know you're Laycan and that you're a part of me, but that doesn't change you being my father. I can never really fight you. You're so naive. Why don't you understand that your naivete is what killed Sophia, what killed your mother, Karen? I already know that. That's why I swore never to run away again, that I must rescue Ellie. So don't get in my way. Wake up! Open your eyes, Father Laycan! If that's the case, then fight me! Fight me! I can't. I see. Then there's no choice. What? Huh? Since you are so unwilling to fight, I believe I'll have to use them as bait! What? Huh? Stop it! Don't we have the same memories? Can't you also remember that sadness you felt way back then? Why then? Why must you destroy everything? If we stop Deus, won't this all be over? You still don't understand, even after your contact with the Existence? I came to understand after my contact with the Existence that even if Deus was destroyed, as long as humans still inhabit this land, Miang, El Hayim, will be born time and again. Then all living things may as well perish along with Deus itself as the only path to freedom. The path to release us from the eternal cycles of life, the tragedies of history, and the spell of fate. Once I awaken Deus as a weapon, I'll obliterate all living things. Then I'll use your awakened self and that machine to return everything to nothing. That's what I concluded. Miang and al Haim are not just Deus's mouthpieces. That woman is its main body. Why can't you see that? That's not true. She gave her life for me by shielding me from harm. Her eyes weren't Miang's. Mother came back at the last moment. Yang, mother, even Ellie, 
We're all humans born on this planet. Deus doesn't matter. You'll see. I will bring Ellie back. Father, no. Groff Lay can. If you won't back down. Never! Then I have no choice. The time has come to truly become one! By kicking each other's asses. This shouldn't be too difficult, if I'm right. We're up against the true Welltall. It does less than 800 damage. Ah, 1600. First things first, let's check to see if we do not have, we do not have system hits. Let's just use a booster. Why not? Good for you. How much damage do I do? 39? What? Let's do it with a death blow. Go, Repu! There we go. I must have blocked the other one. 2400 damage. Damn. You gonna, yeah, you're going for a second attack. I figured you would. Oh, three attacks, you dick. Let's go for the strong attack again. Let's see if this does a little bit more. No, he keeps blocking it. What the hell? Let's try doing a, a medium attack, see if that does a little bit more. Nope! I have no idea what's going on. So, we're gonna keep going for the light attacks then. Since apparently they do the most damage. 1494 damage. This does the most damage, right? Yeah, look at that, 200 damage. And then let's go for... Ryumei! For almost, almost 5,000. It's actually faster to go uh, with the level 1 death blow, so I'm doing more damage that way overall. So I'll just just stick with that. I can't remember if we've gone over what this, what this gear's name is, so I'm just going to be quiet about it until they officially announce it. 2,400. Yeah, to be honest, this this battle is more of a uh, show off of the new gear than it is anything else. Because after the the battles that we've had, this this battle is not difficult at all. I remember that. Another 2,500 damage. Yeah, just this is gonna take him forever. It's not going to take me, me nearly as long to kill him. Especially with the booster going. More repus! I require more repus! And down goes Groff! Yeah! I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce those, so I just do grunts! Yeah! Yeah! Ow! My spleen! Why don't you finish me off? If you don't get rid of me, then you cannot get what you want. It's alright, Dad. I understand. You are not Groff. You are my father. You and Groff are one. Your will and purpose never change. I knew that once we fought. But let's stop now. Our objective should be the same. It is the same as our becoming one. We don't have to fight. Ugh. What? My body! Zelhar is after you. The last piece to combine with Deus' system. It seeks to unify with you, the first to have been divided from it. He's the first to come out. What? This is what Lakan wanted all along. After all, I'm an imperfect existence. It was inevitable that it would come to this, considering what had happened in the past. Lakan's imperfect secondary contact with the wave existence split his personality into two. Eventually, his body died, but the original Lakan transmigrated, bringing the destiny of becoming a contact with him. He was reborn as your present body, the remaining persona, just his desires. 
lived on separately by possessing the bodies of others. That is Grom. That is me. I may have inherited Lakan's will, but I'm not the same as the contact Lakan. It is impossible for me to make real contact. There would be no true melding and release. Even though our bodies may be different, I am still half of you. That fact remains. Although I am imperfect, I can merge temporarily with Zohar, and thus may be able to buy you some time. This is the only way I can be one with you. This is all I can do. Deus' system will start to look for you again. Before then, you have to destroy the newly perfected Deus in this Zohar modifier. You're the only one that can destroy the physical barrier that encases God's body. Dad! As you said, that was Karen. Through many generations, Miang is beginning to break free from her bounds. Now that El Haim has merged with Deus, she has all her memories back. All the memories from her original birth as a contact's complement up to her current transmigration. That includes all of the lives she has lived as Miang and her substitutes over the centuries. And of course, that includes your mother's memories too. Mother's memories? Faye. Cut away all the binds on mankind. You should be able to do that now. Save her and all the other women bound with her. I'm begging you, Vey. No, I guess. Dad. Groff. They can. You. He's gone. He bought us some time, though. We need to get out of here. What's this? This pendant. Is this Sophia's? Or my mother's? What? It's nothing. I'm just talking to myself. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused everyone. Thank you all so much. Anyway, let's get going. There's a little time left now for me and for our planet. And for our planet! Which means we are getting very close to the end of the game. Very, very close. What is this place? This is where it all started. This is our genesis. We know. Humans were born here. Long ago, Deus crash-landed on this planet, an interplanetary colony ship. In order to revive itself someday, Deus detached the Zohar modifier's core. After this core unit came down here, a single woman awoke and arose from out of it. She's the mother of all humanity. After she woke, she used all her power to bear several beings. These would become the ancestors of the whole of humanity. These were the Emperor and the Gazelle Ministry. Finally, she gave birth to replicas of herself to be humanity's caretakers. Two selves, the human mother and the weapon, the subject and the complement. That is Ellie and Miang. I, the sole survivor from the colony ship, met Ellie, and everything started from there. The land of Genesis, Kadomini, that this is that place. Well, I don't understand that ancient destiny you have with Deus, but even then, how do you remember all these ancient memories so well? That just ain't human. Usually, human memories cannot be passed down through the generations. Humans do not normally have the ability to comprise